All right, so if you're a fan of nostalgia, come to the right place. We have the brand new Polaroid Lab. It's here, it's real life, and we're gonna take a look at it. So Polaroid Lab is Polaroid's newest product. It's essentially a Polaroid printer that allows you to take any digital photo that you've taken and turn it into a true Polaroid. So the first thing we're gonna do, check out the box. Comes in a nice little concise box. It's pretty light, it's nothing crazy. Um, you can see the Polaroid Lab. It says it uses a three lens system to project the screen image from your iPhone, exposing it into Polaroid film. So as you can kind of see on the box, what you're doing is you're just placing the phone on top of a camera that's gonna take in the image and then print it onto the Polaroid. Let's open this thing up and see what's under the hood. Full quick start guide and then a full user manual. The quick start guide is really simple. It kind of just goes through, tells you how to use the whole thing. It's pretty self-explanatory though, but this is a good place to start. And then here we go. We've got the actual uh, piece of hardware. It's pretty interesting. Um, you know, it kind of looks a little bit kind of like modern with hints of kind of uh, older design. It kind of resembles uh, the new Polaroid iType that's out. Um, it has the same kind of tactile button here. The first thing we're gonna do in order to review this properly is we're gonna go out, myself and staff photographer Chandler Bondurant. We're gonna rock around New York City for 15, 20 minutes. We're gonna take some images with our iPhones and then turn those images into Polaroids. And then we're gonna come back in here and show you exactly how this thing works step by step. See you soon. All right, so now that you've seen all the images that we took from the iPhone and turned them into images with Polaroid Lab, as well as some of the DSLR and mirrorless images Chandler and I have taken, now I'm gonna show you exactly how we use a Polaroid Lab. So the first thing we're gonna do is turn this thing on. On button, pretty useful. So put it on, you can see this kind of neck comes out and this viewfinder, if you will, and you take off um, this little cover, you're good to go. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is download the Polaroid app. All right, so you can see on the app, all you have to do is select Polaroid Lab. Once you go there, you're able to choose your image. You can see I'm gonna go here and grab one of the images that Chandler and I took today. I'm gonna choose this image. I'm gonna click Next. Now, you click, ready to expose. Now here's an interesting thing that I wanna note. So the images that we took they seem underexposed a bit, some of the color is off. What you're able to do is come down here and you can go to color correction and you can adjust the exposure like this, which is something that I think that we would do in the future in order to learn more and get better with this. You're also able, you're also able to work with color correction as you can see here and work with this. I would highly recommend kind of playing with this, getting used to it. Obviously, with the price of the film, this isn't ideal. Um, as you can see with the one image Chandler took with the woman's hand, uh, that was drastically underexposed. So obviously with that, we would have wanted to go up with the exposure quite a bit and see what happens. I think this is a useful tool, but I think it's gonna take a little bit of time and it's always gonna be a little bit unique in that sense. After that, you're able to just go and place uh, place your phone on the lab. It's that simple. So I'm gonna place it right on top of the lab and we're good to go. All you have to do at that point is just press the button and print. Very simple, very easy. You kinda have to make sure that it's on the right location. As long as you hear the noise indicating that it's correct, you're good to go. So we're gonna just click it 
There you go, print it, and then just lay it down, either put it in your pocket or in a dark, dark area. Polaroid recommends that you do this in order to get the best exposure. For color film, like the color I type, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes for your images to properly expose. And for your black and white, it's gonna take about five to 10 minutes. This is kind of the same exact process um, that goes along with the newer Polaroid type cameras. Um, so you're not gonna see any difference in how long the image takes to properly expose and how long that process lasts. A couple new and, and kind of cool features that you're able to do with the Polaroid Lab. Uh, the first one is you're able to take one image and kind of turn it into a collage, if you will. So let's say that you have an image and you wanna use multiple Polaroids to create a larger image. You can go within the app and you're able to do that. You're able to select the image, you can break it into different amounts. So for example, you can do single, double, triple, four, six, or nine. Moving on, let's kind of talk about some pros and some cons. I think the first thing, the first biggest pro is that now you're kind of able to you know, have an infinite amount of images that you can use that you've taken and turn into a Polaroid. Now, does this take a little bit of the kind of nostalgic factor and the intention and the kind of deliberateness that you have when you're taking a Polaroid photo? Of course. For some people, that kind of might take away from the experience and for others, it might be fantastic. You know, now you're able to take any photo that you've ever taken and turn it into a Polaroid and not be so deliberate. You kind of have free range to take as many photos as you want and then choose from those. Price is another factor that comes to mind. For some people, it might not be a big deal, and for others, you know, it might be a barrier of entry. The Polaroid Lab comes in at $119.99. The Polaroid packs come with eight exposures. It's gonna cost you usually around $15, even if you do it in a bundle. So kind of doing the math there, it's around $2 per exposure. You know, for some people, that's maybe too much. Um, for others, it might be just right. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, film is still expensive and that's a reality for if you want to use the Polaroid Lab, you're going to need to buy the film and pay about $2 per exposure. I think to kind of sum it up here, I thought, oh man, I don't know, I, I'm a big fan of instant film. I really like kind of the, the fun and friendliness of having the Polaroid and being able to go out and capture these kind of memories. You're not going for detail, you're not going for beautiful, but you're going for tangible. You're going for something that you really like. And there's something special about in that moment you get your Polaroid instantly, you're able to share it with your friends, your family, whoever, and it's kind of nice, it's pleasant. I think that, you know, this doesn't take away from that experience. I think that, you know, you're just able to have more images that you can select from, it's a different process, but obviously you don't have that kind of experience of going out with a Polaroid and making a beautiful photo or a fun photo or kind of an intimate photo and then instantly sharing it. Obviously that's gone. Um, all in all though, I think it's a really cool product. We are really excited about it here at the office. I think people are kind of experiencing some nostalgia and being able to take some of their photos and, and make them unique. And that's kind of, you know, the great thing about these Polaroids is your image is gonna look different. It's gonna be changed. It's gonna feel different. And uh, you know, that's something that I think a lot of people enjoy. So the Polaroid Lab is dropping Wednesday, September 11th. You're gonna be able to find it at various retail outlets. Obviously you'll be able to get it on the Polaroid website. The Polaroid Lab comes in at $119.99.